So in this video, we're going to have a look at how to draw a ray diagram for a converging lens, which is being used as a magnifying glass. So the start is much the same as before. First job is to draw in the principal axis. Nice thick straight line. And again, we'll put the lens roughly in the middle of the page to give ourselves plenty of space to work. And same shape for it, same symbol for it, because it's still a converging lens. So, the next job is to mark on the focal length, which was 5 centimetres, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's the focus. And then we were told that something, the object is placed 2 centimetres away, so that's one two centimetres away, and it's 1.5 centimetres high, which means we should draw in our object here. And as before, we'll do a little arrowhead so we can see which way up our object is, and we'll aim for that object. Now, much as before, we have two um, special rays to draw in. We draw a ray parallel to the principal axis from the top of our object and that will refract through the focus so carefully draw that in refracting through the focus and as it's a real ray we put an arrow on it then our other special ray we draw starting from the top of the object going straight through the center of the lens and as before this ray does not change direction. So, this is all looking very nice, but where does our image form? Because these real rays don't cross. So, these real rays, when it's acting as a magnifying glass, will be going into our eye. So we could add our eye here. And we have to remember that our brain assumes that the light has always travelled in a straight line. So for both of these rays, we can put the ruler on and we can draw a dotted line back in the opposite direction, which is showing a virtual ray. And this is where our brain assumes that the light has travelled um, in a straight line. So we can do the same thing over here. Dotted virtual ray going back. And at this point I realise, oops, these real rays really ought to continue so they actually go into the eye rather than stopping in midair. So let's just correct that. And then we can see our image forms where these <coughs> virtual rays cross. So then we can draw in Really, perhaps I should use a ruler for this. We should draw in our image forming here. And we can see that the image is upright. It's the correct way up. It's enlarged because it's bigger than the object. And we can also tell that it's virtual because it was formed where virtual rays crossed. 